So yeah, so there are times, or they've done this, there are times when you're going to need access potentially to Windows uh, to get into things, to, to do stuff. There's uh, some things that just, you know, can't, you know, you can't do on Linux. Not many. Um, so, you know, they, they've given you access to this and some, I'm trying to think what doesn't work though. I mean, obviously, you know, certain packages won't run on, on Linux completely, but on a day-to-day -day thing, as a developer, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a developer. I mean, I come from a, obviously a creative world, so, so I know the things that don't work um, on Linux and the things that don't work on, a, you know, a Mac and Windows quite got a lot of parity, but Linux has got some oddities. So this is interesting as well. It keeps coming up with this thing here. It says depreciate endpoint, depreciate endpoint. Um, but I've already done a test installation with this and it works fine. So let's just rumble through this. But it is really handy. I mean, it's interesting. When you do something like Bazite and you install DaVinci Resolve on Bazite, which has like a thing called a uJust command, it puts, makes a virtual box and puts DaVinci Resolve in it. So it can you know, create its own environment. And this is obviously what Docker, Docker does. I mean, you can use Docker for, I mean, I actually do know what it is, but you can use Docker for things like an AI unit. You could just have it specifically to do a Docker to do AI, but you can use it. It's like a safe container that you can work in and run another, another OS. 